So I'm here to change the bottle cock in the toilet. I shut the water off, drained the tank, and I disconnected the supply going to the bottle cock. And it's just a matter of taking this nut off and removing your supply. Um, this is the tie down nut that holds it tight to the tank. You just remove that like so. Then you pull it out. That's the point I'm at right now. Bogtox, 25 years old or something, it was leaking fairly bad, so I'm going to replace the whole thing. I'm going to save the ball though. So you just put this on not that long ago, so there should be nothing wrong with that. And it's that simple, that's out. One thing you want to make sure is that you've cleaned all the debris, made sure there's nothing there because you want a nice seal when that gasket tightens down into the tank itself. Um, take the ball, screw it on there. Something to be careful of is not to over tighten this because you can break this part of the ball cock quite easily. Once it gets really snug, I'm just going to take it. Drop it in there like that. This is the hole down nut. Take that slide underneath there. There's two screws there, and they are the major important part of the ball cock. I'll just tighten that down and turn the water on a second. I am not. You want to make sure that the ball is free too when you're tightening into place. That's on. It's the refill tube, and this refill is the seal after the uh, after the toilet's been flushed. So that's it. it goes down there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to turn the water on. I'm just going to move the camera here, folks. You're going to have to bear with me just for a minute. This is a, a quite an important part of the uh, the setting up of the toilet. Probably the biggest part. Because if you don't adjust it right, you're going to end up with trouble on a regular basis. So, what you have to do is... Up here there's two screws on top of the ball cock and uh, let's turn the water on and see what happens. Turn that nicely. You can see how far this is down here. This screw here, that screw adjust the level that the rod drops down. So, you actually want to turn that down because you don't want to turn down towards the flapper. And this one, adjust, this one on the very, on the very top of the rod adjust the height of the rod. And, 
the level. So the big thing is to make sure that the flapper doesn't get tied up with the the rod when the, the float rod when it is flushed. I should have this Phillips screwdriver already. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to give it a flush and we'll see what happens here. <laughs> I apologize for the shaking. So the two screws on top, one sets the height of the water and the other one adjusts this rod after it's flushed. So it stops it from, it touches underneath there and stops it from dropping down too far. And you really want to adjust this screw to make sure that it doesn't get tied up with the blocker. This one is your water mark. So let's see where it ends up at. Give them more time. Make sure we have the right spot. refills the seal in the bowl. That's what this tube does. So, there we go. Right on the money. Perfect. Yeah, that's all there is to change the ball cock. Good luck. 